So today we're doing the career sim of the man who has been reunited with his Vanderbilt teammate, Kamar Rocker, third overall to the Texas Rangers. I mean, what a pick. It kind of shocked a lot of people. They didn't think Kamar Rocker was going to go that early. But I like the pick by the Rangers. If the guy can stay healthy, I think they've got a MLB ready pitcher within the next season or two. I think this really helps them push their kind of rebuild a little bit quicker because now they'll have Jack Leiter, they'll have Kamar Rocker, they have John Gray, Martin Perez could come back on a year-to-year -year deal if he continues to deal. And on top of that, you've got Josh Young, Sam Huff, you got Seeger, Semyon, Dustin Harris looks pretty decent in the farm system this year. You've got Foscue, they've got some pieces. So if all things go right, this team could be competing in the next couple seasons. But we're not here to talk about the Rangers. We're not doing a Rangers rebuild. We're doing a Kamar Rocker career sim. So here we are, Kamar Rocker on the Rangers. Currently sitting in double A. I don't know where he's gonna be placed once he actually joins the team. But here we go, 70 overall, 22 years old. And I, like I said, I think it makes sense for the Rangers because he probably is the most MLB ready player out of the entire draft, especially at a pitcher. I feel like they've got their guys. So here we are, Kamar Rocker. I'm not assuming he has any quirks. There he is. So boom. Um, I'm trying to remember who I got this from, from the vault. Let me find it. All right. So as you can see, there's a couple that have a similar face. I think this is the one right here that I have highlighted. Um, but you can, you can kind of see it. If you just search Kamar, there's a bunch of them. Um, I know another guy who's been making a lot of prospects is this guy right here, J Stump 42. So again, there's, there's a lot of guys who have been making prospects. I, I think this is the one that I have right here that I currently have highlighted though. So there he is. So again, like I said, he's in double A. Let's see how this first season goes. We're going to go 10 seasons into the future, checking in season by season, and we'll see how the career plays out. All right, so first season's over for double A, and it looks like he got called up to triple A. Okay, and he's been dealing in triple A. We're up to a 72, so two overall jump in the first year. And you know what? Not bad. I mean, you can see 13 games, so I would assume he pitched a majority of the year in, in AAA this year. And I mean, he dealt. He was solid. So not a bad first year. I don't know if he'll sneak into the majors next year, but it's a possibility. So let's get to the postseason. Let's see what happens. I guess this season AAA, now his season's over. So I guess we could, we could take another look at him, see how he did. He actually yeah, stayed at a 72, but I mean... That's kind of nasty. That's kind of nasty for sure. So let's get to season two. All right, so the AAA season's over. I'm kind of interested to see if Rocker's still there. He is, he's up to a 74 and he definitely took a little bit of a, I don't want to say, I guess it's a sophomore slump, right? Kind of took a step back and all right, 170 innings. Interesting, ERA went up, whip went up. So that, I guess you can kind of take the good with the bad. I mean, 17 quality starts in 29 games. I think the big thing here is the walks. I mean, walks have also been part of it. Like, Kamar Rockers, like, it, they've been an issue in Kamar Rockers' game. So, like, the control. The dude's got nasty stuff. It's just the control and obviously the health. So, there we go. There we are. Season two, up to a 74. So, another plus two. Let's see, where's Lighter? Is Lighter up in the majors? He is. Dang. Okay. So maybe Kamar will join him next season. We'll have to wait and see. So season two in the books. Maybe he's a September call up. I doubt it because we just went through September. So that was a dumb thing for me to say. But that's season two. Let's go to season three. All right. So season three in the books. And I went to the end of the MLB season. Why, you ask? Well, we got a man named Kamar Rocker in the majors at 24 years old. He's up to a 77 overall. So a plus three this time. Right? Yeah, that's how math works. Anyways, you can see things are going pretty well. Except for the ERA and the whip. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one indeed. That is that is kind of tough. Six wins, nine losses. Not very nice. 25 games started. How many quality starts? Only eight quality starts. Uh-oh. We're gonna we're gonna have to work on that. We're gonna have to work on that. 0.9 war to start. Any quirks? No. Uh, Alright, so I, I guess. So 132 innings pitched. So I guess next year, he's still technically a rookie. I'll check awards to see if he was in the rookie of the year talk. He wasn't. I'm also kind of interested to see what this team's looking like because there's been so many trades. So many trades. 
I I've I've lost track of how many trades have happened. Um, they also had Jordan Walker. I don't know if they still have him. They do have him. Yeah, they've just been making like Semyon's not even here anymore. I don't even know who the trade was for Semyon. What what was the move that they did for Will Wilson and Juan Aguero? In, okay, for, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. They've they've been going crazy with the trades here in Texas. But yeah, there's Kamar Rocker in season three. Let's get to season four. All right, here we are. Season whatever this is. Season four. Season, season, season four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, season four. So Seager's no longer on the team. Like I said, the, the team's been going crazy with the trades for Chuck Freehan, Eddie Borbin, and Tim Rocker. Maybe they brought in Kamara's brother. I know he, I don't I don't know if he has a brother or not, but let's see let's see what Tim Rocker's looking like. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, let's let's go take a look at the man who we're here for, Kamar. 81 overall, 25 years old, second full season in the majors, 200 innings, 14 and 9 on the year. ERA went down, whip went down. So you know what? I will take it. It's an improvement. More innings pitched. I mean, almost 200 innings. That's like that's pretty solid. Almost 20 quality starts out of 33 starts. Not not terrible. 230 strikeouts. Whip and ERA has dropped, but still a little high. But overall, for the most part, you know what? Definitely take it. Excels at striking out hitters. What's his strikeout? Ooh, 83? K per nine? Do we have an award? Rookie of the year went to Jordan Walker. Was Kamar even possible to be in the race? I don't think so, because he would have lost. I'm, maybe I, he would have lost rookie status this year, though, because I think it's 150 innings pitched for starters where they lose. It's 130 or 150 that they lose their rookie status. Either way, no rookie of the year for Kamar. And we're through season two of him being in the my majors. Majors. So there it is. I mean, so far, it's it's not been bad. Obviously, we'd want a little bit better, but baby steps, baby steps. All right, season five, and the, the Rangers just aren't good. The Rangers aren't good. Yeah, that, that's a little unfortunate. Kamara up to an 83, really similar to what happened last year, which sucks because we need better we need better attributes and stats here. I mean, the walks per nine and the controls going up, which is definitely going to help them out, but I need to see better really better this this ain't gonna cut it we're we're not gonna do anything big if we're having numbers like this but at the same time we, we could could see like one of those late blooms where maybe like 32 he just pops off like crazy and he gets really really good not just like obviously it could happen sooner but it could also be one of those late bloomers where boom all of a sudden something clicks and we've got a crazy pitcher on our hands so again still only been three seasons in the majors five in total we've got five more to go might as well keep going. I doubt we have an award. Yeah, we don't even have an award. All right, let's season six. First postseason appearance, season six. Here we go. Any league leaders? Award, maybe? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's go take a look at Kamar. How did he do? 85 overall. So what were his season stats like? Yikes. We might be in for a bad one. We, we might just have to buckle in, strap in buckle up whatever you want to call it because who i mean like his fifth isn't as bad as his era so i guess that is a little bit better uh but like man this is rough like i don't even i don't even know what to say ah man but yeah that's tough that's tough that's tough um yeah next season uh we do have the postseason so maybe he like pops off which is is a possibility i mean they're they're moving through the postseason I lied. They're not moving. They're not moving through the postseason. How did he do? Pretty, pretty bad. The whip was good though. So like, ah man, that's tough. That's tough. I don't, I don't know what's what's going on here. I, I feel like this is gonna be a weird one where he's gonna have like a stupid amount of strikeouts and like ERA and the whip's gonna be tough. Like it's gonna be bad, but like maybe the other stats won't be too bad. So it'll kind of like balance itself out. Cause like obviously I don't want to judge a pitcher just solely on his ERA and his whip. You know, we do have FIP. We do have a couple other things. Like, we could just look at strikeouts. You know, wins and losses, definitely not going to be looking at. Especially with how bad the Rangers were up until this point. But uh, that's not looking great. So, another postseason appearance. No wards, no league leaders. But we've got an 86 overall Kamar. So, he's not really going up much. Huh. But, the, like, the attributes that we need him to go up in are going up in. So, like, I'm not... 
not stress. I'm really not stressing. I don't like. It's one of those things where I'm like, okay, I'm I'm pretty chill right now. Like I feel like we're doing pretty well. Like it, yeah, numbers may not make it look that way, but I think I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay. So fifth season in the majors, four years of service time because he had like a. It says four point one, but like he really had like almost a full season in the in the majors his first year. So again. I'm not I'm not stressing too much. I'm really not. I don't know why, but I'm not. I feel like I feel like we're going to be okay. I think this is going to be one of those like I said, I think it's going to be a late bloomer. And then we're going to we're going to see some uh some uh some good things for sure. So, that was year 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. That was year 7. We've got three more. I mean, like I said, good things could still happen. All right, so the Rangers are back to being a non-postseason team unfortunate but let's take a look 89 overall okay Ooh, okay here we go here we go 29 years old and i mean if you're a rangers fan obviously the these seasons would suck right you're like expecting him to be really good and you're seeing five eras you're seeing high fours and you're going oh man this guy's a bust realistically you're probably looking at what like a, a four era for the for a majority of his career Honestly, it can't be that bad, right? Like, yes, the whip's a little bit high. Walks are clearly an issue. But strikeout numbers, pretty solid. Actually, strikeout numbers are going down. But still pretty solid. Like, this is easily his best year at almost 200 strikeouts, which I guess it's just strikes per nine is going down. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see. Yeah, especially since he was only getting like 170 innings here. Okay, that makes more sense. But like 180 innings with 203 strikeouts, pretty impressive. 230 strikeouts here. Like, this guy's a strikeout machine. Walk's kind of an issue. It's kind of an issue. So there's that. And here we are. We're starting to see him take off a little bit. I'm not sure if he's a free agent this year or next year. I think it's after next season. So he'll be 30 years old. But, I mean, I, I like I said, I think this is going to be one of those. A little bit of a late bloomer. He's going to pop off a little bit. So there we are. 89 overall. Boom. That was That's exactly what we needed. So we got two more years. Let's see what he can do in those next two years, especially since one of them is going to be a free agent. Unless he's a free agent this year, but I don't think that's right. I think he's going to be one next year. He's one next year. All right. So let's head into season nine. Season nine, back in the postseason. Any league leading stats? No. What about an award? No, not that either. Okay. What about just the year in general? Ah, yikes. Okay. 90 overall. Numbers are still going up. Like attributes are still going up. And striking out a lot. 170 innings. Almost 200 strikeouts. Okay. Again, hits are an issue. Walks a little bit of an issue. But overall, I, I, it's you got to take it with a grain of salt. Like, it, it's so... What's it called? It's so attribute-based. Like, it's crazy how much pitchers... Like, they're really, really, really stuck with, like... They don't have the best of control. If they don't have the best of clutch. If they don't have the best this per nine or that per nine... They just don't do well. Also, his break's really low. Uh, that also might be an issue. I did not realize that. That also might be a little bit of an issue that he doesn't have any break. So let's let's do a little bit of an experiment because uh, break's kind of important. So because I'm just now noticing that, let's bump this up because I know his pitch is kind of nasty, especially his breaking ball. So the fact that his break on his breaking ball is little to like just basically non-existent, no chance. Let's let's bump that up a little bit. We got the break up. Let's let's see if that plays into effect because everything else has been kind of the same for a little bit now. Let's see if break is a little bit important. You would assume so, right? If your pitches are just coming in flat, of course they're gonna get absolutely destroyed. So now he's a free agent as. They get eliminated, but we'll, we'll see if he resigns with the Rangers. I don't know how much money the Rangers have right here. It really just depends. Like, we'll see. You got, you got some big name free agents here. I also don't expect him to have to be, like, super expensive. Let's see. Did they sign him back? They didn't. Just interested to see how much money he wants. About 20 mil. Okay. It doesn't look like he's going to resign. So, I don't even know if I'll get a, a notification notification for him so let's see does does he get a notification doesn't look like it 
Um, I oh he does. He goes to the Guardians. Oh, okay, interesting. All right, is Cleveland in the postseason? They're a wild card team. I don't really care about that. Let's let's see here. What do we have? Cole Win is your Cy Young winner. Okay. So no Kamar. Let's go see how he did in year 10 with his new team. And I actually didn't even see his contract. It's uh, six years, about 19-ish mil. Okay. What do we have here? So 190 innings, 166 hits. So may I mean, how much did he? He didn't really develop much. So break might have been a big issue. Break might have been a big issue. Makes sense. Makes sense. So now... I feel bad that we kind of tarnished the first six years of his career because we didn't have any break on his pitches. Look, ah, it, it's still, it's still, you know, kind of up in the air for some debate. But, you know, career high for strikeouts, walks, career low, right? Like everything else looks like it's pointing in the right direction that the dude just lacked that break. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that, that might have been the big issue. Big big oversight on the attributes part definitely need break as a pitcher so we might we might see some pop off now i do want to see how he's doing 10 years into it um not of his career but just kind of get an idea of like where he is strikeout wise compared to like some other pitchers so um is that is that it oh for the season no i want all pitchers i don't want season i want career there we go so Rios is currently here, here we go. Oh no, Giolito is currently the leader with 2,400 strikeouts, about 24 and a half. He's pitched 2,600 innings, right? So looking at the rest of them, you can kind of see innings and strikeouts pretty similar, right? There's a couple that more innings and strikeouts are pretty similar. And so, where is Kamar in relation to everybody else? Let's see. I didn't even see how many strikeouts that he had. He had so. He's at 1,500, and he's short of 1,400 innings. So, I mean, what is he at? Seven years of MLB service time. If he can double that, so he'll be just short of 3,000 innings. I mean, that's a lot of innings, to be honest, considering the most innings here doesn't work, apparently. Okay. Um, I, he If he keeps it up, he might be... He might be on pace for some nice strikeout numbers. That that could be pretty impressive. That that might be the one thing that kind of keeps his Hall of Fame thing afloat because we all know MLB The Show loves a good strikeout for for uh, for the game. That's basically how they decide like Cy Young and stuff like that. So the Phillies defeat the Tigers. How did Ti how did the Tigers get there? So Cleveland won. Oh, Cleveland was one game short of a World Series. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, so let's to the rest of let's simulate the rest of his career. Let's see, let's see what happens with Kamar. Is he gonna finish strong, or is it just gonna be the same thing, like four and a half ERA? All right, so I figured I'd hop in here because you can see MLB service times at 11 years, 35 years old. So you can kind of do the math on where we've left this. And you know what? Not too bad. He didn't really get too high in overall you can kind of see he's gone down a little bit so maybe like one or two overall so maybe like 93 at most but honestly you know i'm pretty happy with those per nines i, I think the break thing may or may not have been an issue you'll have to wait and see again i'm not going to show you his career attributes um but yeah 93 is kind of where he peaked you can kind of see the quirks that he had and again it, it did take him like a full year to get or like a full career to get to like his best um ability you know so like 93 94 ish you know you can kind of see where the attributes are starting to dip a little bit but again 35 years old honestly not too bad so see you guys at the end of his career all right 2041 rocker has retired and 42 years old so there we are no quirks no contract obviously let's take a look at his mlb stats so um went back to texas for a year uh, maybe just maybe try to get him closer to that 3000 strikeout mark but um he went to boston for a couple seasons was with cleveland for a few years obviously and you can kind of see he actually had a good string of years and then he started to regress a little bit but yeah um didn't really seem to change much with the fact that he had better break once we adjusted that 
um so yeah i think the big thing was just like his walks per nine were a little bit low i mean that the home runs as well but overall it, it this is kind of why i don't like doing pitcher career sims just because like it's so hit or miss right you can have a couple good years and then you know the rest of them could just be complete garbage you know like it's just so 50 50 it's a coin flip it's hit or miss whatever you want to say like that kind of is everything so again the career honestly wasn't terrible you know 2700 innings you know hits just shy of 3000 but the strikeouts again just just shy of 3000 like that's pretty impressive that's a pretty good amount of strikeouts over his career you know averaging just shy of 10 strikeouts per nine innings pitched like that's still decent you know his fip was where's fip here 3.97 so fip is kind of like a a little bit more of an adjusted era for pitchers so essentially he was around a 3.97 like era but it's called fip so you know that that's a little bit better it's a little bit more respectable for a pitcher and settling at a 40.4 war overall again i don't think it's a terrible career at all you know a whip at 1.38 is a little bit high same thing with the era but if you go with a 1.3 whip and a 3.97 instead like honestly it's it's not a bad career um is it a hall of fame one though it is not it is not and it makes sense right like they're definitely you know were a little bit better numbers that he could have had and you know what that, that happens sometimes again not a bad career though so that's where we're gonna end it i hope you enjoyed the kamar rocker career sim that's about it i hope you enjoyed it here's the video go check it out this is a good one i highly recommend it that's about it guys i'll catch you all in the next one peace